It's going to be a very good fight. We expect it to be at the very least. I go to the tail of the tape. Jesus Ramos is younger and taller. 17 and 0, 5 foot 10. Vladimir Hernandez is 32 years old and 5 7 and a half. But that's not how these fights are won. Hernandez breaking out of his rugged opponent lane. Big wins over an older Alfredo Angulo, but then over former champion Julian Williams. He's expected to test the kid here tonight. Gentlemen, I want a clean fight. Caballeros, que uno, quiero una pelea limpia. Good luck to both of you. Buena suerte a los dos. Touch them up for the money. Okay. Jesus Ramos is a young blue chip prospect, one of the best young fighters in the sport. Vladimir Hernandez is 32. His record, uh, you know, recently uh, unimpressive. 13 and 4 now, but he has incredible will and work ethic. Beating Alfredo Angulo, breaking the weight class record for punches thrown. And in his last bout, Julian Williams was a big favorite, former unified champion looking to get back to a title shot. But Hernandez won the last three rounds to win a split decision. We're underway. Should be a fascinating fight. 20 year old blue chipper against the old tough guy in Vladimir Hernandez. First round 17 to 15 in favor of Jesus Ramos. So that, that is not a wide margin at all. Herland Hernandez just landed two solid left hands on the side of the head of Ramos. Look at him go to work and here. Ramos he, answers back. Let me tell you, Ramos sometimes bends. Eventually, but maybe not this early. Hernandez able to land these body shots on young Ramos. It's Hernandez who's landing the power shots. Now with a little room there, Ramos able to land. A little combination. Rugged junior middleweight champions and Jared Hurt. So he's got to have a lot of uh, a lot of confidence coming into this ring. And he's it's showing right here. Thumping left hands by Vladimir Hernandez. There's a pounding on the side of Ramos. We've never seen, to Lennox, to your point, you made it earlier. We, we've never seen Ramos just take shots like this. No. Um, he's, he's taken, I mean, he's, he's got his defense up, he's coming back yes, with it. It looks like Ramos is saying to himself now, I got to dig in here and I got to start hurting this guy, even if it means sitting in the pit and, and fighting this guy's fight for the most part. And Hernandez just keeps coming forward. And Hernandez, yeah, I'm not going to take anything away from you. He is sitting up there, we can always ask. Him. Anyway, two minutes left. And, and, came, and but Ramos came back with his little chopper right hand, or left hand, and then landed a good hook just then. Oh, they're going at it now. Really? They're putting Jesus in with this guy now while exactly. he's peaking? Ooh. Good. God bless him. Yeah. And even the Ramos people, they must have immense confidence in their guy to say, oh, the guy that just beat J-Rock and Angulo? Sure. Yeah. Let's take him. Fernandez is only oh, popped him there. 17 fights, but he's definitely the veteran in here. Yeah, Ramos is teeing off right now. He, those were two hard shots that he was able to land, and there's a long left hand. And the knockout stop and the... Oh, oh he's hurt now! Ramos Hernandez. has him hurt. Can Hernandez stay on his feet? Wobbling backwards. Barrage from Jesus Ramos. That's it. And he stopped it. That's it. 40 seconds to go, and Mike Ortega has stopped it. Yeah. He got caught while he was throwing a punch. And that's, that's what happens to a lot of people. When they're throwing a punch and they get caught right in the middle of it. Rush. That's, that's when it turns out. Do we, like the, do we like the stoppage? Yeah, because, yeah, stoppage because you, you saw, we were just saying how Ramos was starting to take charge. He was he figured out Hernandez. He was starting to land, land the hard shots, and he would have to do something to turn the fight around, and he did exactly that. And when I say turn it around, I mean just have it going his way entirely. And the, and the referee did the right thing because he was defenseless on the road matter of time. There's the big shots. And here, here, this is where he steps and punches to the body. My, Mike Ortega saw this. And now he was defenseless. It was not going to get any better. But here's an angle you're going to see what Mike Ortega got to see. Our referee in charge, Mike Ortega, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Jesus El Mono. Jesus Ramos uh, ate more punches in that fight than he had ever before. And he came through looking like a champ. Or at the very least, a future champ.